swear that you have not dozed in church public function. Ubukwe releases telling pictures. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Please subscribe to our channel. Dwebuke, the chieftain of the All Progressives Congress, APC, has knocked emerging claims against presidential candidate Asawaju Bola Ametunubu. Swear that you have not dozed off in the church or any public function. It is human. It is natural. It does happen to active leaders. I remember those days when Asiwaji was the governor of Lagos State. Sometimes, 20 or 30 people will be waiting to see up to, to see him up to 3 a.m. He came out of his office at 2 a.m. on a certain day and met all of us sleeping. He said, you see, all of you are sleeping and only me is awake to see all of you one by one. This life, no balance. So we all laughed and empathized with him. Ibukwe posted on Sunday. In reaction to mischief coloring the picture of a fatigued Buhari taken at the palace of the Emir of Gombe, Abubakar, Sheikh Abubakar, on Saturday. Ibukwe, sister sees from a Newi and Anambra state, posted telling pictures of indigenous and global leaders caught in related situations to further drive home his point. The presidential candidate has been getting support across platforms over the development labored irarity in the face of a themed response of he meets people almost 24 hours daily. At some point, I wonder where he's, whether he sleeps at all. Provided by passionate supporter Ayuko Akindili, adopted by Tenembo Loyalist. Checks by society now reveal that Tenembo acknowledged that the front runner on the race to determine the next president of Nigeria appears to be the most engaged of all the candidates across the board. He runs a round-the-clock schedule that spans that touches different parts of the country. Society now does NG land. Now, those who are launching the attacks against Tunebo because they found them sleeping, that is not, in fact, permit me to say that in a not cheap propaganda, not in a defying. And not clout, not in a chase. If you, are, if you tell me, look, this thing can happen to you whether you're young, whether you're old. If you're now somebody who runs two jobs, and he expects to be seeing that person that runs two jobs, to doze off at any place at any time. So what are you, killing? So what are you talking about? It is very, very natural. Uh-uh. It is very natural. Like I said, it is to me, it is cheap propaganda. This is not the right way to go about. Look, I've never even found you attacking your another candidate. Huh? I've not found, I've, never, I've never found it, um, what's it called? I've never found it good enough. You want to come outside and speak about yourself. Speak about yourself. Speak about how, confi- how competent you are. Speak about yourself. Tell, the, tell us how competent you are. Tell us. Tell us how competent you are. Tell us what you're going to be bringing to the office. Tell us how you're going to be solving the myriad problems of Nigeria. Tell us. Leave other people out of it. Now you, you now where you want to say your market to. So you got to convince us. Hmm. Now, this is not a criteria to measure whether the person is going to perform well. Or. This, this is what I want people to understand. It is not a criteria. So it doesn't count. But the fact remains that Onku is actually old. He does not take away the fact that he is old. I just want people to understand. But using this picture to, to, to make this cheap propaganda, it is cheap propaganda. But the truth of the matter be see, what exactly does he bring to the table? How is he going to be solving Nigeria problem? Which sectors is he going to be facing if he's given the opportunity? All right. Truly, something should not come to social media. Who can say he hasn't dozed off in a public function before? Truly, we tend to make everything politics in Nigeria. Let us focus on issues that are pertinent to the survival of this our beloved country. Exactly. If you ask me, this thing is uncalled for. To be very sincere with you. Have you ever meant for important meeting that your presence thought is highly required for the meeting you doze off? Uncle? Yes, it has happened. ha <laughs> It has happened that people will have to look. You have you will not say that you have never been caught in that situation 
We will be saying you did for meeting. We will be seeing people day. And you do, you yourself, you feel embarrassed. But my goodness, because it's only natural. Do you see them condemning you about it? No. You would not. They are all there because of him. So why will he slip off? Can you imagine? <laughs> all right. Napping is part of nature and health. Just five to ten minutes can revive your level of thinking. God bless Nigeria. My own, don't get me wrong. Saying that um, he's napping is is why he should not be given the opportunity to serve Nigeria or to rule Nigeria is actually wrong. But if you bring on discussions like you know he has not brought he has not he has not showed us what he stands for this this um, he has not told us you know what he stands for he has not even communicated anything to us. You understand? He's actually really very old. All those things are criteria that we look at, but on the fact that he was dozing off sincerely, it's not it's not even a criteria at all. Alright. Even machines get uh, this political angles a bit a pedestrian and <laughs> Okay. We only preach and let bad things. Bad, bad, worse, worse. Shame on the book we turn become a distant thought. <laughs> Don't sound so sure. Don't sound so sure. In an important meeting where a matter is being discussed, my dear, I keep, I will say it over and over again. I'm not a fan of Jacobin. Hmm? But the truth of the matter is, is he competent enough? Is he mentally, physically strong to rule Nigeria? Nigeria is a very big nation. Very big. Hmm. All right. Jibuko should acknowledge that hard, that he is trying too hard to market an unreliable product to Nigeria. The problem here is that after it damage control by Ibugu and his team, new damages surfaces from Agbado, fake IDs to fake bishop, fake health claims. It is on and on. Nigerians know the difference between Teleda, Folocom, and the one where they don't work on. Can you imagine? <laughs> oh my goodness. You are not even a good PR man. You can do better than you. Must you agree he was sleeping? Haba, APC with people like you are a sleeping party. There is nothing that you will see. Tembo was sleeping in that position. What do you want him to say? To come out and lie? But my own, sleeping or not, is not even the problem. What is he bringing to the table? What exactly is his plan for Nigeria? All right. That is the just, just, that's just it. There is no how he will come out and tell us that Tembo was not sleeping. The picture gives it all. The position gives it all. But the thing is, is he actually the person? Is the right person for Nigerians? Nigerians will decide. Okay, on this note, you've come to the end of the news. We say thank you. For